Hey, good morning everyone. It is Monday and we are still Port Huron. We are waiting for our border crossing to clear. Just got notified that they had the wrong broker, a little bit of a snafu. Uh, they've gotten a hold of the shipper and they're getting everything sorted out and hopefully in about 45 minutes we'll be cleared to cross. Rocks. Treacherous. I'm not really sure why they put stuff like that on there. Are they trying to stop people from walking across there or what? I mean, I understand grass wouldn't work, but it is what it is. If you're watching this, and hopefully you already saw the other video that I posted from uh, Port Huron. If you haven't watched it, I'll go ahead and post it right here or right here. Somewhere around me. So check that out. I'm going to walk in here at the Pilot. Known for its uh, wonderful coffee. I'm going to go get a refill. Maybe some breakfast. Well, good news. We have been cleared to cross the border. So I'm going to head to the border and deliver this and get it out of my hair and hopefully get on the load quickly. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Bye. <laughs> Well, as you can see from my little getup, I have made it to delivery and uh, very interesting to say the least. Um, this is a second shipment because apparently the first shipment was shipped not using FedEx Custom Critical. So they didn't follow the protocols that we have to follow for temperature validated freight. Because of that, they lost the whole shipment. Uh, apparently it's for it's paint and it's for something nuclear related. Because of that, they lost. They saved some money on shipping, but whoever shipped it, I don't know whose fault it was, it doesn't matter. The point is, you get what you pay for. In life, in shipping, in everything, you get what you pay for. And when you're using FedEx Custom Critical, there's a level of service that you get and they do things right and they train us to do things right and it's a good thing too and this just proved my point today so anyways uh, i'm gonna get this offloaded waiting for quality assurance let me show you something really quick this shows the temperature range in the box you can see the four probes now the temperature range on this shipment was from 63 to 77 to a set point of 70 degrees 
So we set it at 70 degrees and you can see right here how close all four probes are. Now what we do is we go here, I go to print, I do a delivery of the current values. And it shows the customer what the temperatures are. And now, this is called a journey ticket. This is going to be a long one. This load was set up to measure every 15 minutes what the box was, what the temperature in the box was. So the customer will now get this and it'll show them every 15 minutes since the freight was picked up what the temperature inside of our box was. That is called and is regulated, watched by FedEx, monitored by FedEx, monitored by us. And that is called temperature validated. So I come back here and I find this. Now, you may think this was orchestrated, but this is, this is um, our, our duvet, is it duvet? And he managed to do that to himself. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> And he wasn't even upset about it. Okay, so we got to relocate to Dearborn, Michigan, but there's six trucks there and friends there. So waiting uh, in Mississauga to see what we can come up with as far as a load. See what happens. Hey guys, we are out of Canada. We delivered, did not get a load. And drove out and we are in Pembroke, New York, which is uh, right outside of uh, Buffalo. And we got lucky. We scored a load from Albany to Salt Lake City. We'll pick up tomorrow and then we're going to head out there and be there on Friday. Probably spend the weekend in Vegas. Wednesday morning here in Albany, New York, picking up our load and we are headed to Salt Lake City waiting to get loaded. Hopefully they do it quick. We'll get loaded, get on down the road and talk to you soon. So one of the videos I was explaining to you about our uh, temperature freight and uh, it was a little scatterbrained so let me go into a little bit of more detail uh, we have two different types of temperature services one is called temperature assured and temperature validated temperature validated being the higher level of service temperature assured the customer tells us the range and we stay in range it's not monitors closely temperature validated is we guarantee that those temperatures are going to be adhered to. Um, the range on this load is two degrees to eight degrees Celsius with a set point of five. I've loaded the freight, it's been secured, the doors are closed. So now we have to be between that two to eight degrees Celsius range before we can leave. So right now, like I said, the ambient temperature is 20.3. And when these four probes, one, two, three, four, are below eight degrees, when those are below eight degrees Celsius, at that point I can call into dispatch and do my departure call. It's a process and a protocol that we go through to make sure that everything is being adhered to, to the standards of the service. So, probably another minute, minute and a half, it'll be in range and I'll do my departure call. So, traveling along the I-90 West, and uh, the I-90 travels along the Erie Canal in New York, and it's really cool to look at. So, we got the drone up and got some cool footage at the rest area. 
How's it going? Yeah. I was just curious, man. Oh. How's it going? What's, What's your name? name? D. D, I'm Frank. The FedEx? Yeah, my wife and I. Oh, shit. Yeah. So going along I-90 West along the Erie Canal and I got to put the drone up so that'll be some cool footage. Got to meet the cows. It's turning out to be an interesting trip. Alright, let me get something to eat. Something good, hopefully. Oh good, three buses just got here. Thank uh -huh.